Welcome to my second tutorial. I will go through the process to configure your art to work with the package. This tutorial will be split into two parts. In this part, I will discuss how we can work with the 2D. In the next part, I will explain on how we can work with the 3D. For this part, I prepared a simple set. I will start by dragging the set to the scene, and we also need to make sure that the mesh have the read-write enabled in the import settings. Then I will unpack the prefab. Please notice that if you reset any model, you should find it in the range 0 and 1. Here I'm using cube shifted half unit in each axis to verify. Now we are ready to start by selecting all the pieces and add the block asset component to them. But there is an error message telling us to nest it under a block repo. So let's create one and nest all the blocks under it. I will create one by right clicking the select auto level block repo. Now if we go back to the blocks we will see that it's working and these black lines represent the connection. By default, AutoLevel connect every block to every other block. Let's create a level builder to see how this works. Now I will assign my repo and set the height to 1 since it's a 2D set. And I will also move it to the side. And one more thing, I will constrain the group to the base. We don't need the empty or the solid groups for a 2D example. Then hit rebuild. As you see, connect every block to every other block is like picking a random block for each cell. Let's disable all the other block assets except the corner to explain the block variant. The block variant is just a copy of the original block with a bunch of actions applied to it. We can create variants by clicking on the plus button and picking an action. The actions are rotate, mirror, and flip. I will pick rotate Y for this. And this will rotate 90 degree on the Y axis. While selecting the second variant, I will click on the plus button again to create a third variant and pick the same action and this will create a variant rotated 180 degree from the original since it was created from the second variant. Then I will create the fourth and place them apart. The block asset have two editing modes. They are connections and filling. We will get back to the filling later on. And just focus on the connection. We can only connect the front face of one block to the back face of another block. Or the up to the down or the left to the right. To have such connection, all we need to do is to make sure that these faces have the same ID. By default, they all have the ID of zero, which is why every block is connected to every other block. We don't need to set these ID manually. All we need to do is connect them from the scene view. For example, I will connect the front of the first variant to the back of the second variant. Now, the second variant is the only block that allowed to be connected to the front of the first block. You can, conf you can confirm that when you hit rebuild. Let's complete the cycle and hit rebuild again.
now we are getting the squares pattern. Now let's introduce another pieces. I will connect this block to itself so we can have tiling. You can see blue lines which indicate tiling on the x-axis and on the z-axis. And I will do it for this block as well and hit rebuild again. Here, we see our square pattern get stretched horizontally. Now, I will mix the connections between the rows and columns. One connection is enough to do the trick. Auto level will go through the chain of connections to unify the IDs. And we hit rebuild again to see the road get created. Now, I will introduce one last concept that you will see me use a lot in my repos. When we have a large number of blocks, it's difficult to create variants for each block. In some cases, there is a way to define the connections in more compact form. Let's start by removing all the blocks and keep the corner block active. Then, let's reset all its IDs to zero. We can create a connection between any two faces by holding the shift key while making connection. I will click on the right face, then hold the shift key and connect it to the front face. Now the front and the right face have the same ID. However, they will not be connected as I mentioned before. Now when we create a variant, the variant will rotate the IDs with it and the connections will be created. There is a way to create variants in group called action groups. We can define one by selecting the block repo, then add a new action group. Let's name it to full rotate on Y. Then let's add the first element and rotate it once. Then add another one and rotate it twice. Add the third one and rotate it three times, similar to how we create variants. Now, let's go back to our blocks and assign the action group to it. And let's enable the rest of our blocks, then connect them and rebuild. And here we have the same result faster and in more compact way. We have covered a lot in this tutorial. I will release the next one pretty soon and it will be much simpler. Thank you for watching.